results that are worth having, results that are long lasting, results that are valuable, they never come fast. Oh, oh, oh. All right, we got a question from Tadrian Zen. T. Adrian Zen. Tadri Anzen. Tad Rianzen. Tadria Enzen. I try and just read it in every different iteration. Ta Drianzen. Okay, Ta. All right, tips for dealing with frustration when not seeing results as fast in the gym. Well, that's a good question. Uh, that's something that a lot of you probably deal with all the time. But, um, you know, results are never, results that are worth having, results that are long lasting, results that are valuable, they never come fast. They don't come fast. That's what she said, right? Eh, 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 come on, ew. All right. Um, I think it depends on if you know, like if you're really doing everything properly. I mean, if you're, if you haven't download the seven pillars, I recommend checking that out. Swolnormousx.com. You could download it right there at the top. When it comes to doing the basics and doing the fundamentals, that's just, that's everything. The fundamentals, the basics, making sure that you are, um, I'll bring them up right now, actually. I know I'm covering it, so I'll cover, uncover myself for a second. Uh, community, nutrition, training, recovery, mindfulness, and consistency. So all of those seven pillars, those are fundamentals. Those are fundamentals. Those are the basics, right? Those are the basics. So if you are, if you're not getting those right, then you have no business being frustrated because if you're focused on the end result all the time, you're always going to be disappointed. You're always going to be disappointed. That can drive you. That can be inspirational. But my 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 passion and my discipline for lifting weights and for being consistent like i wanted that end result so deeply it wasn't even a matter it was just i'm going to do this i'm not going to stop until i grow i'm going to do it right i'm going to invest everything and all my effort and i got amazing results you know my goals have changed recently um you know i'm kind of in between what i you know i'm focusing on different things it's a different kind of approach for me for my lifestyle right now but it also depends on if you're truly doing everything to the best of your ability. Like, are you calling yourself out? Are you satisfied with your effort? Are you being real with yourself? Pillar number six, mindfulness. Are you being authentic? Are you really putting in all the effort that you should be? Are you really doing it the right way? Are you doing the best you can? Or are you looking for an external thing to blame and just not realizing it? So it's easy to get frustrated but it doesn't really matter, does it? It doesn't really matter if you're frustrated. Are you going to stop? If you stop, you're not going to get results. So it's okay. It's one thing to pivot. It's one thing. You have to kind of know details, but at the same time, do the details matter? So rather than saying, okay, well, what are you doing? That's, I don't think that's really the question. I don't think that's really what's going to solve the issue. Like even if you put down here how many calories you're eating, what your goal is, what you're actually, you know, how many days a week you're lifting weights and how many days a week you're doing this. And right. I, I that, that doesn't answer the question because that's always going to change, right? What you're doing in the gym is always going to change your nutrition, even as consistent as you are. And some people are very consistent. It's still different day to day. As much as I eat pretty much the same things all the time, it's still different day to day, different quantities, maybe different volumes, you know, it's always going to, it's always changing subtly. So it's not literally the same every day. You're not the same person every day. You're going to feel different day to day. You're going to have different energy levels. You're going to sleep different amounts. You're going to have different temperatures outside, different things you need to do in the day, different things on your mind. Sometimes you quote, wake up on the wrong side of the bed. So, you know, navigating that type of pattern and discipline will overrule and supersede all those little nuances. Cause that's always going to change. That's always going to kind of, that's always going to kind of, uh, how should I say this, fluctuate, right? That's always going to fluctuate. All those details. So really what's underlying that? What's underlying that that you could be super consistent with and you can really focus on that comes before. And that's why we always refer to the seven pillars because whenever you have something that's a little bit shaky, you go back to that. You go back to the seven pillars. You do your brain gains and you recenter yourself 
And then you just continue focusing on the most important things because all these little, sometimes you have things in your life or in your training or nutrition that you can, you can adjust, you could do better with. But if you have that foundation, and that's the unshakable thing. If you have cracks in your foundation that usually manifests in different things long term. So it could be your decision making process. I think that's just much more of a concern than, oh, just up your calories a little bit more. And it could be something. If you're trying to bulk up, you're not eating enough food, you're not gonna then you're being frustrated for no reason. Again, you might figure out the details because you went back to the pillars. Mm -hmm.